Hey everybody, DK Web Design Studio here. We're back again, this time looking at a complete website design in under 30 minutes, making a beautiful website with Wix for free, starting completely from scratch. All right, so I've never attempted to do this formally before, but I want to really walk you through my methodology, how I go about creating beautiful designs, talk you through it, and offer this really this free tutorial to give you the most amount of value that I possibly can in the least amount of time. So without hesitation, first of all, you're gonna need to get yourself a Wix website. Go to Wix.com, set yourself up an account, and get started by following this video. So I'm in Wix right now, I'm in my dashboard, and what I'm gonna do to get started, I'm gonna click on my sites top here, I'm gonna click create new site. And the first set of options says what kind of website we want to create. Uh, maybe we want to start with something that's already pre-populated, but for the sake of complete and utter creativity, having the ability to design and, and do whatever you can imagine, we're going to start with other. And I'm going to actually, so the ADI is this intelligent interface that, that makes it a lot faster and easier to build a site, but we're going to, we're going to go the route of complete uh, autonomy, complete scratch, whatever you can imagine type of deal, as much creativity as we possibly can put into it. So we're gonna go with a blank template. And Wix is great because it gives you already a couple of, of nice templates to follow that are completely blank, no images, no branding or, or whatnot. These are very convenient to start with, but we're not going for convenience right now, we're going for creativity. So I'm gonna click start from scratch and click edit. And Wix takes just a minute to load. Once it loads, we'll get started. Um, and here we are. So we're in a complete blank, blank options here. Um, you can see there's margins already established. There's a header and there's a footer. And, and it's prompting, Wix really prompts you every step of the way and that's why I love Wix so much, it's very intuitive. So every time I start a site, I always like to lay the groundworks of um, the header and the footer, because those really are, are the branding of the site. So here on the side, and you'll notice Wix has a couple of options. You got this menus and pages, you have background, which would customize the, the colors and the, and the um, maybe patterns or images you want in your background. You have a bunch of different tools you can add. Um, various things like social media, videos, uh, text, um, strips, which we'll go over shortly. You have apps too, third-party developers that create very stunning and, and integrated apps. You can pay a small premium. You can create forms. Um, there's form, a one, two, three form builder, which is, which is excellent. Uh, you can put in Google AdSense, AdWords, whatever you want. Um, customize HTML. Now, one thing with Wix, you don't, you don't really have access to the backend code as much. So if you're an experienced web developer, you might be a little disappointed with that aspect. Um, uh, and I think they're, they're working on improved methods of, of uh, customizing the backend, but Wix is not really there yet. Uh, you can upload images, you can upload files, PDFs, whatnot to your site. Uh, you can add bookings, which is very useful if you're running a um, like sports service or uh, consulting business. You can add very nice booking interface for your customers. And then you can add a blog. So very intuitive, very simple to start off with. And so I'm going to begin by adding a header to the site. And again, we're working from scratch here, so I'm just going to be doing what comes natural to me and you can follow along how you want. So I've just clicked, drab, dragged, and dropped a strip to the header, and I'm gonna just minimize uh, that strip a little bit. Let me undo that. So I'm grabbing the strip, I'm stretching it, and it's disappearing, weird. Okay, here's the strip, here's the header. Uh, we wanna grab that, sorry. All right, so I'm gonna, so what I've done is I've actually minimized the size of that strip so that I can drop it into the header. And Wix prompts me, he says add it to header. Very good, got it. And now we have this part of this header. So there's two options in which in Wix. You can change the size of objects by dragging 
on the dot or you can stretch and by stretching you actually maintain the rest of the design of your page and and it's nice because Wix kind of says hey look use the stretch handle to lengthen or shorten an element so it kind of prompts you throughout this whole thing of what you can cannot do so I'm gonna add oh, a strip to the top and I'm just gonna copy that strip again and paste it so now I have two strips and maybe this one I want to just change the the color to blue just so I can identify it for now just so you can see the two different elements and I'm gonna again hover click drag and hover over the header and drop that element into the header um, and I can drag and notice how when I drag it will not overlap the other strip so it's recognizing this as an object and not overlapping the two very very convenient so I want to fill the rest of the space of the header just drag that down like so and if I actually click inside the header here I can stretch and bring the header up to this element so again the more that you practice with this the better you're gonna get so now I have a nice banner at the top where I can highlight certain things like social media I can add a search element to the site and then I have a header down here so we're gonna add another element to our site our very simple site but beautiful and I'm gonna add some I'm gonna add just some text so maybe this one looks kinda of cool attach it to the top and we're gonna put it over here and just say DK web oh that's a little bit too fancy for me so we're gonna try a different font set a sale maybe we'll do a, a trendy one bring the size down to maybe a size 32 close out of that ah so what's happened here is I've lost the text that I put in there and if you can't find something so because I didn't type anything it just disappeared it thought I didn't actually want to put anything so I'm gonna try this again this time put put something in there and we're gonna go back to trend and let's go so we're size 30 so now it's gonna stay and we're gonna type DK web design as the name of my site so notice automatically Wix adjusted the size of the strip because the text was very long and it pushed it down so you're gonna wanna kinda resize it um, notice also another neat thing with Wix is you can you can drag and size things over here manually and by eye or you can come over here and you can customize the position and the size in the side menu so this is nice if you want to really keep crystal clear on your sizes so here I adjusted the height to 150 but you can see it more dramatically if I make it 130 boom okay and same thing with the with the header design I want to make that 130 as well perfect boom 130 so DK web design we're gonna put that here and another cool thing with Wix is it will prompt you as you're dragging elements to align things within the center or within if I wanted to center this for instance I can um, there's methods of doing that simply um, let me let me show you here so I can I can center the text uh, alignment and I can make it center in the box and then all, all I'd have to do at this stage is just drag the box to the outer edges of the margins page margins and there I have a perfectly centered um, title all right so the next thing that you're, you're probably gonna want to be asking is I'm not just gonna have a one page website I'm gonna have multiple pages so you can do two things in Wix to create a menu number one you can pick a menu from this add option over here it's called menu and Wix has a whole bunch of pre-designed uh, settings and fonts and formats to their menu and I can pick one of these if I want to be simple and they're already pretty trendy the ones that Wix has so there's not a whole bunch of customization you really need to do with these these header options so here you can see it's blended in because of the color uh, that's not a good place to be maybe we want it to stand out a little bit more um, well actually 
yeah, the color is blending in. But in reality, I only have one page. So you're not going to see contact media and, and the other options here because I only have one page in my site right now. But let's just go with, for the sake of, of simplicity, we're going to go with, um, hmm, this is not too bad. Yeah, there you go. So, so another important thing to consider when you're starting your website is think about the color scheme. Typically, you're going to want to assign some type of color palette to your site so that you don't have to be constantly customizing and picking from different colors. So in order to assign a color palette to your site, um, what, you, what you're going to want to do is, if I click on this and I click um, design, customize design, Preset designs. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna find it here in just a minute. So, fill colors, backgrounds. Uh, so site colors. See how I got there? Basically, I'm I'm just picking from any any of the color options are gonna get you to this this possible change. But the color picker, it says site colors, and here's my default palette. So already you can see I have blues, I have purple, and I have green. If I want to change my color palette for my site, notice how you have so many different palettes to choose from. This really saves you a whole bunch of time. So I'm going to go through and just pick a kind of a cool color palette to get us started. Um, so this one, this one's pretty funky. We want to, we really want to go with, with light elegant light tones so here this one's not too bad we're gonna go with this one because this kind of maintains the one that that we were looking at earlier all right so home and again we might want to do a little bit of customization here dk web design we got a home let's add some social media icons so we'll keep keep on the same theme that we got going on here. So I'm going to grab a couple of social media images here. And, and these ones are, these are default settings. We can customize these here in a minute. So I'm going to pick this gray. It's not going to show great, but it will show up. And what we're going to do is um, set social links. And I'm going to delete all these just, just to start from scratch here. And we're going to add some of our own icons. All right, so free from Wix, let's grab a Facebook icon over here. We're going to grab just the solid white F. Uh, I added it twice. And maybe I want to add uh, YouTube. So we got YouTube and we got Facebook. And I have a separate video you can go look at at how to actually set these links to your social media sites, so I'm not going to spend the time here uh, doing that again. All right, so these are these look pretty good. Um, I'm still not satisfied. I, I like to have them a little bit smaller, so I've clicked on layouts, and I'm gonna decrease the icon size just a little bit. Um, spacing is fine. I'm happy with that, and I'm just gonna push these all the way over to the side. Now, keep in mind, everything that we do on the desktop is going to have to reflect somehow on mobile. So it's a very good practice to toggle back and forth with your uh, mobile site as you're do developing the design of your website. So here I have a social media bar and this is way too big up here. I'm gonna decrease the size. Uh, this is fine, but you know this mobile menu being down here, I don't like that so much. Um, so what we can actually do is on the design here, we can maybe make it, maybe make a kind of a white icon so that this jumps out. And there's there's something to be said also about having some overlap. This is not a bad design. Um, yeah, I could make this smaller and put it in the corner or put it next to here, but having a little bit of overlap on your site kind of creates an interesting design element. So just just mess around, try to make something cool, and. Ultimately, whatever's aesthetically pleasing to you may be 
aesthetically pleasing to others. So obviously, there's great web design practice. You can learn more about it, read up, study other websites, but ultimately, the choice is yours. So I'm gonna save the progress that we have so far. We're gonna name the site. So again, don't forget to save pretty regularly whenever you can, when you make major changes. Wix is really good about keeping your stuff up to date, but don't don't neglect this step. So we're gonna, we're gonna name our site uh, DK Web Design um, Tutorial. And just save and continue. So this is our free, we have a free domain that we just created. Uh, under Daniel R. Kinesh, wixsites.com, and that's that's our new free domain. So we're gonna go back to desktop view, and again, constantly toggling back and forth is great practice. Money. All right. So this is this is still kind of ugly the colors, but it it's not bad, and it gives you an idea of of how you set up relations of different objects. Let's keep on going. So we have the web design, we have the home, um, we have a menu, we have social media. Let's also create a call to action for people to sign up to our newsletter. Pretty cool, right? So if we wanna create a newsletter sign up, what we want to do is create a, not a button, here under contact. So under contact, we have a couple of forms, contact forms and whatnot. Um, and you can, you can scroll through and see all the different options that, that Wix has. Um, but right now, what I'm looking for is, is a get, get subscribers button. Um, and really what I wanted to do is put it up at the top so people can subscribe right away. So this is a pretty neat little trick that I use on all my sites takes a little bit of customization, but it allows you to uh, quickly utilize the resources that Wix presents to you from the get-go. So we'll go to design, we're gonna go classic. Well, the strip is fine, but um, you can see the different different ways that Wix lets you customize the layout. Here we wanted to do, do a horizontal version of that. And the header, we, what I want to do is actually remove elements of this. So if I go to settings, I can actually turn off um, the title here and subscribe now, email address. So I do want to customize some of the colors here and the design. So we're going to go to background. Uh, so it's a white background right now. Um, that's fine. The white background is fine, but, but what I want to do is Instead of having a white background, I want to have it transparent. So take this opacity and bring it down to 0%. And that will maintain, this will let me then drag it over here and the background assumes the color of whatever's behind it. So I'm just double clicking to access the customization options. And so the field, again, email address, we want that to be white. The gray is kind of bizarre looking. And subscribe now, again, we have the color palette at our at our um, availability. So picking from our site color palette, um, it's automatically picked this one, but again, we can we can change or optimize or really do whatever we want here. Uh, white's not gonna work. Uh, we can do gray. I think this is probably fine working with the color palette that we have. Um, it does look a little bit hot like Halloween, but again, we'll, we'll work with that. design, fields, so really there's not much more that I need to do here. Um, I have a nice subscribe option, design and layout. Uh, we can change the alignment of the header, body alignment. Um, again, you can do different things, test things out, see what you can come up with and um, you can customize here which email address you want it to go to, um, what you want the text to be right here. You can add name, phone number, really whatever you want. But for the sake of, of what we're doing today, I just want this to be floating kind of up here. And so one of the one of the, the drawbacks of this option is you're kind of limited. Um, 
as you can see, I can't, I'm, I'm having trouble placing this right at the top. So for now, you, this may want to show up right in the body of your, of your website. Um, there's a border around it too, so we want to remove that border. Let's go to design, background, we don't want any border, zero, and we don't want any corner radius. All right, close out of that. And that's really all there is to that one. Uh, next up, we want to create a little bit of a design to the site. So, and let's just check on time here. I don't want this to run too long. This is already 20 minutes. Um, so you can see there was, there's actually some cool there's some cool vector art that and Wix is, I guess that's, Wix has added this recently. You can put some like a kind of a cool lady over here, and maybe maybe we want to call to action right away. So we're going to add some text here and just say uh, some tall text and say welcome to DK Web Design. Subscribe now for free um, free videos. So now we have something pretty funky, cool looking, and I'm centering this up. There we go. We can grab multiple elements at once by holding control, and we can center that whole design. All right. Now here's the header, we want to stretch it back up. And maybe when you want to create a background. So I'm going to change the page background. Um, that's a little bit much. Uh, snowboarders, that's a little crazy too. That's ridiculous. So there's a lot of cool things you can do. Maybe some pineapples might be cool. Um, and that's pretty psych, that's pretty nuts over there. So I like the pineapples. Um, we can customize the pineapples too. Maybe we don't want them so bright. We just want them kind of light in the background like that. Um, we can create a parallax effect when we scroll down. Um, change the image position. I think it's fine the way it was. And we can add some color behind it. So if I want to create a little bit more of a th thematic uh, color color scheme to it to match the rest of the site, we can we can do that. So. There you have it. Now maybe I want to create a box around this, this intro part. So all you have to do to create a box is click add shape and I'm gonna create I'm gonna find a box shape over here. And I'm gonna stretch that box shape out so that it could kind of highlight the background here. And this box too, we want to change some of the design and color and opacity. So I'm just gonna change that to maybe a black box little bit of shade that gives it a really nice kind of cool effect now notice this is going to be black on black so I might want to change this to white and it's, it's going to stand out really nicely here in a minute so make sure that this box is a little is wide enough to to encompass this entire the image the text and the subscribe and look at that so I'm just going to drop it in that box element and notice it, it had trouble recognizing it. So sometimes this happens. What you want to do to resolve that uh, is make sure that your shape, make sure that whatever you drop in it. Okay, so here. So it's having trouble. Um, what we might do to resolve it. And sometimes you're gonna, you're just gonna have to keep on practicing until you get it right. It's not always super intuitive. So maybe we want to group these elements together. So click the three. That way I can move them as one group, and I don't have to continue to hold control, click, 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 and then drag. So I've grouped the elements now. This guy, I'm trying to make sure this box is large enough. And it's not letting me drop it on the box. So maybe instead of a box, let's let's look at some more options here. Uh, here you go, box. So so don't use shapes, use boxes. That's my my apologies. 
uh, box is going to allow you to drop the element behind the box. And actually, it can customize that box a lot better. So let's go back. Let's change the design, customize the design a little bit. The fill color and opacity, now we can drop that back down to something like that. Now this is going to let me do it. So if I click drag, here you go. I can attach it to the box. And now actually I can move this box, center that as best as I can. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So now we have a social media, we have a menu, we have a title, and we have a call to action. Next, we might want to create a footer. So I'm going to do the same thing uh, for the footer. I'm going to copy this strip in the background. Let's copy it. And notice when I paste it, it still has the text on it and the menu, but we, we can go ahead and just delete those. And then grab the strip, bring it down close to the bottom, and see Wix had prompts you to move it to the footer. Just click that button, and now the strip is in the footer. So that really was simple to do. Drag that dra drag it down. This white space at the bottom, you're not going to see it on your site when I publish it, so don't worry too much about it, about eliminating it. But there you have it. I filled up my footer completely with the same color strip that I have in the header. In the footer, you may, you may want to add another menu. Uh, I recommend adding buttons and then linking those buttons to various uh, parts of your website. So for instance, let's say I want to have, um, and these are all new, so Wix is constantly adding really neat and new features to their site. Maybe I want to add a couple buttons down here, so I'm going to just attach a couple of these buttons. These are pretty neat. Put that one, ice cream, uh, phone, and maybe put some toast. So then this really doesn't make any sense, but we're just making a funky website here, so you can move these to the bottom, and you might want to title them. So above that, I might want to say something like, uh, put some text down here. Uh, one important thing to keep in mind, too, is whatever text that you select, try to keep the font the same throughout the website. Don't be using multiple different fight, fonts, and also the same thing with colors. Don't be using 20 or 30 different colors. Um, we're going to add just some text here that says, this is Din Newsite Grotesque. So I'm just going to add some text here. Um, for now, we can use really anything you want. Edit the text, and we'll just make sure that we're using the Din Newsite Grotesque. And then we're going to say down here, um, navigation links really whatever you want. We're going to center align those and just center align that and maybe we want to group these elements together as well. There you have it. So we got navigation links and to set these links all you have to do is uh, click the link button and then we can navigate to another site, navigate to an email address, maybe a phone number uh, or a light box. Light boxes are really neat and we'll go over those in more detail on a separate separate time. Um, if you want to have some buttons that are not icons like that, images, what you can actually do is click this button that has a, um, it looks like it's white, but really it has a transparent background. And here, these ones, you can make them look kind of like just text that will highlight or, or do a certain action when you hover over it. So here we'll say uh, home and the design of it. Maybe we want to customize that design a little bit. So when you hover over it, what does it do? Maybe it changes colors. Um, maybe it becomes uh, kind of like a, a little bit lighter like that. Regular and bold. And then what we can do is actually, it's copy that, paste it. And now I can have two of those under each other, paste it again, maybe three of those. Um, maybe we wanna, we wanna group these elements together as well. Um, and then if we preview, see how that looks. So it kind of has a really nice effect to it. These two, these has this interactive kind of cool animation to it. Same with the buttons. Don't 
you want to avoid having stagnant text that doesn't really do anything. It's uh, visually more appealing to have it react like that. So I think that's good for today. This is not by no means a super advanced website. Typically you want to spend somewhere on the order of three to four days developing each of the site uh, components, getting into it, delving into it, but starting from scratch is always tricky, but it is so much more rewarding and so much more original to start from scratch and really go about designing your site the way that you want to. It creates a level of uniqueness and originality if that's what you're going for. Now, I'm gonna go through some other tutorials later on where we're gonna look at just using some of the pre preset templates and customizing those uh, and getting started within you know 10 or 15 minutes creating the site that you want. Um, obviously not putting the content that you want, but at least getting the template set up and slightly customize the way that you like it. So anyways, I hope this video was, was very informative, helpful, and you get to see a little bit of how I go about uh, setting up different components to my websites and how you can actually do the same thing yourself. Um, and uh, if you like this video, be sure to uh, leave me a comment, like the video, and definitely subscribe to my channel. I'm always coming up with new content and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks.